Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Monique, aka Hidden Survivor. Uh, I got a pretty cool video for you guys. Well, I mean, I hope it's a cool video. <laughs> I got a video for you guys where um, I just wanted to share with you guys some tips and tricks, uh, particularly for you military families out there. Um, did you finish it? All right, there you go. Good girl. I'm going to be going on a trip, first vacation, sort of, kind of, since, since the pandemic, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, since being married, um, Johnny is on deployment and I am going to go visit him in port. So... I wanted to share with you guys my packing tips and tricks. I'm going somewhere where it's going to be cold. So I have packed a lot of uh, sweatshirts, sweaters. Let me just move my underwear out the way. I'm not trying to show you all my unmentionables. <laughs> Let me just cover that up. All right. So, socks. So what I did is I packed most of my stuff. Um, this is like phase two of packing. I originally just had stuff thrown in there, like just literally just thrown on there. Um, but I went on Amazon and I ordered some packing cubes to help organize and try to maximize the space I have in my suitcase. So I bought this pack of four. There's one, two, three, and then the fourth one is right here. Um, but I have sweaters, sweatshirts, leggings and jeans, dresses, in case we go out anywhere fancy, somewhere cute, somewhere where I want to look cute. Um, and then I have my underwear and my bras and my socks that I need to pack in there. Um, on this other side, I got some t-shirts. Not some t-shirts. I got a, a t-shirt to sleep in. Excuse me. Some t-shirts to go under my sweaters. So I can layer, because so I don't know how cold it's going to be, where I'm going, might be snowing. So, you know, I need to be able to layer up. I have a travel charger. I actually have two of them. Where's the other one? I bought two of them, because they're for different countries. And I didn't know which one I would need. Um, this one. Mm, I don't know. This one looks like a regular plug. And it has USB thingies on there. I haven't even opened them. Let me open them up. don't know how to use it i imagine it's self-explanatory though right like you just yeah see it has these so i don't know if like where i'm going uses this kind of a, a plug or if they use this kind of a plug it's similar to what we have but it's Instead of the, the prongs being round, they're flat. And then this side has all these weird connections and stuff. So, and you're supposed to be able to like put them together, I think. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I think it comes with some instructions. I hope it comes with some instructions. 
It does not come with any. It does. Yes, it does. Right here. Are these instructions? Mm, sort of, kind of. How to use the adapter. Yeah, so. Sort of, kind of have instructions. That's one plug. has a little case. Both of these came from Amazon. This one has a little case. Is there anything in the box? Nope. So I might just bring the case. There aren't any instructions. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should bring the box. The reason I said that is because it has some pictures on here and it kind of tells you like which country the different outlets go to. Oh, this is cool. It has like a little belt thingy. Looks like it's got some instructions in there. So this one's different. This one you like move some stuff on the side, some switches on the side to pull out the um, the different connections that you need. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How do I make it go back in? Not this one, I just pulled back. How do I make it go back in? Oh, it tells you Europe, UK, USA, and Australia. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. That's cool. And then this button here on the side is how you push it back in. Oh, that's really cool. I like this. So I probably could just bring <coughs> this one and be okay. But I'm going to bring both in case Johnny needs one. They're small enough that I can bring both and it's not a problem. So, travel chargers, packing <coughs> excuse me, packing cubes to organize my luggage and my clothes and stuff. Some face masks. The kind that sit off of your face um, just because around here like for my everyday stuff I wear my Mickey Mouse mask but that one is a cloth mask and it sits on your face and I don't know if like airlines or other countries have rules or if they're funny so you know got the N95 mask just in case We've got the GoPro camera for sightseeing and then I got shoes and boots and stuff um well just boots are in here for now i need to pack my shoes to wear with like my dresses and stuff like that um and then i'm gonna bring my duffel bag which is over there um whatever doesn't fit in the suitcase i'm gonna put in the duffel bag and um so like my documents, gloves, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know what, I took my medicine and like one of the pills I break in half <coughs> and it's like chalky, it's folic acid, it's chalky and like it's got me like coughing and it's like irritating my throat. 
I got this folder, this envelope here to hold all my documents, my important documents that I'm bringing with me. So for me, because my passport and my IDs don't match, like I have my maiden name and I have my married name and I haven't updated, my passport is the last thing that I, passport and my driver's license are the last things that I need to update with my married name and um but and those are the two main things that you use for traveling so um I'm having to like oh what did I book my flight under did I book it under my maiden name or my married name that is a good question in any any respect what I'm getting at is I'm gonna bring a copy of my marriage a certificate just in case just so they see like okay this is this person is who she says she is um and then I have my picture IDs my passport um what else mm, toiletries are in the duffel bag so deodorants body wash lotion body spray I got these little things where did I put them actually I think they're in here I got these little refillable perfume spray bottle things from Amazon they come in a pack of four and they're little tubes they have these thingies at the bottom where you can put it right on top of the bottle, the nozzle of your perfume or, or body spray or whatever, and you can fill these up. And it has a little window so you can see when it's full, when it's empty, you can see what level it is. And, you know, they just got regular spray thingy. And they're travel size. They're so cool. So I got those off of Amazon one has some body spray one has perfume which i don't even need the body spray one because i have a body spray in my duffel bag um but i've got my gloves i have my hat up there um i'm gonna be bringing my winter coat i'm gonna wear my winter coat um what else am I bringing? What else is good for you guys to bring? So also too, depending on, oh, I have my power bank. This is a big boy. And it has a flashlight. So originally, I was going to take the small carry-on suitcase, but my friend and my husband both told me, no, Monique, you're going to need more space than that. And because I'm packing winter clothes, heavier clothes, warmer clothes, they take up more space, so I needed the bigger suitcase. And the carry-on has a little pouch that you can put a power bank in and connect the USB and you can charge your phone or your devices straight from the suitcase. This big suitcase doesn't have that. So this will be going in the duffel bag so I have access to it in case my phone charges because this is gonna be my flights, plural. Um, my flights are going to be long and I've got some layovers and I get in to my destination at an awkward time, so I may or may not be trying to kill time, so yeah, I'll at least have power. I might bring the switch with me so I have some entertainment. 
Um, definitely bringing a book or two with me so I can read on the flights and during some downtime. Um, but what I wanted to say was depending on how you travel, so with us being military, we have the option of taking space A flights, which means space available flights. And, um, originally that's how I was going to travel, but some things changed and we decided it would just be better for, for me to just take a commercial flight round trip um but the space a flight y'all would have been twenty dollars i'm sorry ninety dollars and seventy cents <laughs> to go overseas okay you cannot beat that so it that would have been dope if i could have done that um we decided when he's home and i have time off from school We'll take a trip overseas and we'll take that option. We'll we'll fly that way. Because um, then that leaves us more money to spend on the trip once we're at our destination. But yeah, I will definitely document my trip, my travels, um, you know, fun airport stuff and the destination once I get there. This video is not going up before my trip. I don't usually post stuff like this ahead of time, just for security purposes. I usually post them after the fact. Um, but yeah, I'm excited and I can't wait to share with you guys where we're going, where I'm going. Well, yeah, where we're going. We're gonna meet at a... Uh, we're going to meet in a country. First time I've been there. First time he's been there. He's been to some pretty cool places already. Um, I'll let him tell you about his travels and where he's been and what he's done and, and his experiences. And you guys get to go with me on my trip. So it'll be fun. Um, great way to bring in the new year. Uh... For now, I think that's it. Um, once I finish packing, I'll show you guys what I have, the finished product. I'll bring you guys with me on travel day. And yeah, so make sure you guys bring your passports. Love you. Bye.